Now that we have our cut lines created, it's time to print and cut. The first thing that we want to do is move our mouse cursor up to the apple located in the static toolbar. This time, we will be selecting the contour cut wizard option from the drop down menu. This will then open up the cutting wizard pop up, and on the right side, you'll be able to see a preview screen, and then on the left, we have all of our output options on the tab open. You'll notice that we have some other tabs going across the top, but we don't need to use those. We only need to focus on the output options to do this contour cut. At the top, we can choose our cutting device. If you happen to be using the MH200, you have an option to manually scan each registration mark, or you can have the machine do it automatically using the arms function. If you're using the MH300, then you also have the option of adding the QR code here, and we'll be covering that in a separate video. For now, we're going to stick to the automatic arms. For the MH200 and MH300, the process is exactly the same. So after we've selected our cutter and have the automatic arms selected as well, we can go and choose our printing devices. Here you have several options, the first one being to print directly. Now this will take a list of whatever printers you have installed to that computer and allow you to print from them. The next option is print to PDF, which will just open your file in your PDF viewer. And we do wanna take notice that when we have these two options selected, you notice that the button down here says print. For these next two options, they're more of a save option, so that button will change to save with the top option allowing you to save it as an image file type and the lower option allowing you to save it as a PDF file type. Saving a file is a great option for people that would like to use another program to print from. Choosing either of these options will change the print button to the save button as mentioned before. And for this example, we're just going to leave it on save PDF. Below that we have our source options. This is where you can adjust the position of the registration marks, job name, and do some minor editing to remove some items from the page. The practice sheets option below can be ignored and we're pretty much ready to move forward with printing or saving the image. If you have your vinyl cutter connected directly to your computer, then after it's done printing, you want to click the cut button and you'll be met with a pop-up instructing you on how you will want to load the print into your vinyl cutter. Remember, you use the two rulers on the front of the MH to load in the material as straight as possible and then once it's loaded, Run the material back and forth to ensure that you're not slightly skewing to one side or the other. After checking the skew, you will then want to place the blade and blade holder right above the first contour mark on the right as instructed in that pop-up. Once you have everything loaded in and in position as instructed, you want to then click the next button and that should get the image to start scanning. If everything has been lined up and sized correctly, it will start cutting as it should. Now, if you want to cut from the USB drive, then after we've printed and before clicking cut, you want to check the save as PLT box above the cut button. This will change the cut button to the save PLT button. And when we click the save PLT button, it will bring up the same pop-up that we saw on the previous example, showing you how to properly load your material into the vinyl cutter. Clicking next on this screen will actually bring up a save pop-up window and allow you to choose the directory to save your PLT file in. With your PLT file saved on your USB and your USB connected to your MH cutter, it's time to load in the printed material. And just in case you didn't hear it in the video before, remember to use the two rulers on the front to load the material in as straight as possible. And once you've loaded the material inside, run it back and forth to ensure that you are not slightly skewing from one side to the other. You will then want to place the blade holder right above the first contour mark on the right as instructed in the original pop-up. If you're using the MH200, the only thing you need to do is press the U-Disc button and then use the up and down arrow keys to select the file that you want to cut and then press OK when you're ready to start cutting. If you're using the MH300, you will press the U-Disc button, but you'll be met with two options. You can start scanning the barcode by pressing OK, or you can use the up and down arrow keys to manually select a file to use the automatic arms just like the MH200. 
Well, that covers how to use the automatic arms scanning feature of the MH200 and MH300. As you can see, the process is exactly the same for both, and we're ready to move on to the next video and show you how the barcode scanning feature works on the MH300. If you have any questions about any of the products shown here or any of the US Cutter's products on their website, head on over to uscutter.com and you can contact us using the information shown here on your screen. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and have a wonderful day.